What's up everybody? I'm Tam from Timber Ridge Gifts. So in this video I've got an awesome DIY Valentine's Day project for you guys that's not only going to be great to give as personal gifts but can actually be an item that you can sell in your shop. So today we are making wax dip bears. Uh, essentially we're going to take this cute little teddy bear turn it into a uh, wax air freshener. In some candle shops I've seen bears this size sell anywhere from 12 to 15 dollars. The ones we're going to make today I'm going to make for about a dollar fifty, dollar sixty. So it's a great markup if it's a product you're looking to sell, but even if you're not, it's still a great gift idea or a nice project you can do at home with your kids. So let's check out the supplies we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need our bears, obviously. Not a whole lot to it, really, just your standard teddy bear. The one thing you're going to want to look for is the uh, filling that's inside the teddy bear. You don't want the, uh, the plastic beads. You want either the uh, polyester or the cotton fill. This is where it's real squishy. This will work well for our project. What would happen if it was the beads? Those would all clump together. We would basically just have a big melted mess. Next, we're going to need our wax. You're going to want to use paraffin wax for this. You can use soy. However, soy is very oily to the touch since this is something that people are likely to pick up and move around. You don't want something that's going to be oily to the touch. In addition, this is likely going to sit on somebody's nightstand or a dresser. The oils from the soy wax can leach into the wood and ruin whatever they put it on. So stick to paraffin wax, you'll be just fine. The wax we're using for this project today is IGI 6006, which is going to hold about an 8% fragrance load. But since we're not actually making candles, we can kind of cheat just a little bit. I'm actually going to take this up to a 10% fragrance load. Because these are small air fresheners, I want to give them the best chance they can to actually fill up a room with scent. So to do that, we're going to be using a Vanilla Bean Noel from the Flaming Candle Company. And like I said, we're going to be using about a 10% fragrance load. So we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Now the rest of the equipment we're going to need, either a comb or a fork to actually fluff out the bear. You'll see that in the later steps. A drying rack to set it on. And most importantly, some type of protective gloves. This is the temperature range we're going to be dipping these bears at. It's about 150, 160 degrees. Definitely too hot to stick your bare hand in. Um, I'm using this type of glove. It's not at all to say that this is what's going to work for you. Uh, the point is simply that you're going to need some type of glove. Um, this works for me. My hands aren't very sensitive. But if you're someone that has very sensitive skin, you might want to double up on these. You might want to sacrifice a good pair of leather work gloves. Just make sure you use some type of glove that's going to protect your hand in this way. So that is it for our supplies. Let's zoom in and check out how we're going to do this. All right, I'm gloved up. We're ready to go. We've got our cooling rack and our comb on standby. Our wax is at 155 degrees. We're ready to dip our bear. Again, I want to stress this is just the type of glove that I have chosen. May or may not be what's suitable for you. Make sure that you're using the proper equipment to protect yourself. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and take our bear. We're simply just going to dunk him, give him a nice wax bath. Let him soak in there, let all the air bubbles come out. Should sink to the bottom. Now our bear is completely coated in wax and fragrance oil. Of course he's coated in way too much wax, so now we've got to wring him out a bit. We go ahead and let him drip dry as much as we can. And we're just going to fold him into a ball and squeeze. squeezing him. We're squeezing him rather than just taking him and wringing him out because we want to leave a lot of the wax inside plus if we were to wring him we could likely bust a seam or something. So I've got about all the wax out that I can. Here's what he looks like so far. There's still going to be a little bit more to drip out of him. So we're going to go ahead and put our cooling rack over our Presto pot just to get it, just to cut down on the uh, mess and capture as much waste as we can. Mine doesn't like to stay very well, so I'm just going to add a few uh, clothespins to keep it in place. Now while the wax is still warm and wet, we're just going to take our little bear and we're just going to comb him out. You kind of want that scruffy look, so we're just going to take our comb just kind of scruff him out nice and evenly. We want to get rid of any uh, mats or anything that's going to look gross. So you can do this with a fork or a nice comb. Either way, we just want to kind of have that uh, 
that scruffy ragdoll teddy bear look. We don't want any major clumps that are just going to turn white and look gross. There is kind of a fine line that might take you a little bit of practice while you're doing this. You can overdo this. If you did, you would give him that, uh, that really gross white dandruff look. It's basically where the paraffin wax shows through. If you were to do that, you can always just re-dip him. After a couple tries, you'll learn what pace to go at and when to call it quits. There you go. Alright, this little guy is ready. Now we're going to set him off to dry completely. As you can see, he's wanting to flop around quite a bit. What we can do to fix that, we can just take a couple bamboo skewers. We can actually prop him up in the position that we want him to be. If we wanted this arm to be higher, certainly do that. Put a couple behind him so he doesn't fall. Now once the wax is completely dried, he's going to be stable in that position. So we'll be able to take those braces down and he'll stay just like that. One thing I forgot to mention is you'll want to cover your work area as I've done with the cardboard because this stuff can get pretty messy. So we've got this little guy done. Let's do a time lapse and do our other two. There you go guys, really not much else to it. It's a great way to turn an ordinary object into a great gift or a sellable product. Just a few simple supplies you need, just a few simple steps. Most important thing is make sure you're protecting yourself. We'll give these guys about two hours. They'll be completely dry and hardened. We'll be able to take the braces off. They'll stay just like they are. They'll be ready to give his gifts. You guys feel free to share this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.